Hey guys, in this video, I want to talk about how to cap your FPS properly. So, although that sounds a little bit weird when I say properly, there actually is a wrong way to cap your FPS, and I want to talk about that. So, as you can see in the top left corner of the screen, uh, I have the game capped to 70 frames per second, and my monitor is set to 60 hertz. And so, because the monitor is set to 60 hertz and my game is capped to 70 FPS, there's going to be a mistiming, and the result of that is going to be stuttering. So watch as I move to the right and see how my game stutters. So as you can see, it's not smooth at all. Even though the frame rate is exactly 70 and it's not moving, it's still stuttering. And that's because of the mistiming. So now watch as I set it to 50 frames, it's still going to stutter. And then I'm going to raise it to 55. So now it's stuttering less often, but it's still stuttering. And now that I have it set to 60, it's really smooth. So pretty much this happens whenever your, um, your FPS cap is not a multiple of your monitor's refresh rate. So for example, right here, my monitor is set to 60 hertz, and 60 hertz would be smooth. 120 FPS would be a good frame cap, or 60 FPS, or 240 or whatever. And I want to demonstrate that. So let's try 110 FPS. And it's still stuttering, as you can see. Now if I try 120, it's going to be smooth again. And same for 240. So let's try 230. And I don't know how well you guys can see that see this, but it's still stuttering a little bit. Just not as much though, because it's at a higher frame rate. Now if I go back to 240, it's smooth again. Okay, so how do you work around this issue? Well, you pretty much can't. It's just the way that it is. You can't have a, an FPS that's not a multiple of your monitor's refresh rate. Otherwise, it's just gonna stutter because of the missed timing. So one way that you can get around this is you can use adaptive sync like FreeSync or G-Sync, but you might not wanna use it because it has latency or it might not work properly on your monitor. For example, some uh, versions of FreeSync might not work too well. And again, the latency problem, which you don't want to use in competitive games. So that pretty much leaves you with capping your frame rate to a multiple of your monitor's refresh rate. So for example, if you have a 240 hertz monitor, you can only cap your FPS to either 240, 120, 60, or maybe higher, like 480. But pretty much you're stuck with those numbers if you want perfect smoothness. So if you cap your FPS to 240, and let's say that your game drops to, say, 239, it's going to stutter no matter what. And there's just no way around it. So it's, it's, it's a weird issue, but it is what it is. So if you want perfect smoothness, you either have to use refresh rate, or sorry, you have to either use variable refresh rate or you have to cap at something that you'll never drop below. So for example, if you get 240 frames per second normally, you would have to cap your FPS to 120 in order for it to be smooth. All right, so let's take a look at some real life examples. So here I'm playing Apex and I'm at the shooting range and my frame rate is capped to 50 FPS. So let's see how that works. As you can see, it's visibly stuttering quite badly. So let's try capping it to 60 frames per second and see how that goes. Okay, we're now at 60 frames per second. Let's see how it is. And it's really smooth. Okay, let's try Quake Live now. And it's still stuttering. All right, so we're back at 60 frames per second. Let's see how it goes. And it's smooth. Okay, let's see Counter-Strike. It's pretty bad. And once again, it's smooth. 
Here we have Fortnite at 50 frames per second. And now we're back to 60, and it's really smooth. Okay, so to recap, if you want a smooth game, then you have to cap your frame rate to your monitor's refresh rate, or any multiple of your monitor's refresh rate, or you can use G-Sync or FreeSync, and that would fix the stuttering. So thank you guys for watching, and I hope you learned a lot in this video.